Hi, this is Chef Cherry at House Guest Events, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fresh tuna salad sandwich. I really think you guys are going to love this one. Now let's get started. For our ingredients, we have cute pie Japanese mayo, mint, canned tuna, Granny Smith apple, fresh lemon, and dried cranberries. Can't wait to show you guys. Now let's get started on the prep. Start off by cutting two cheeks off your lemon. Then pop the tops carefully off your tuna. Make sure you really drain all the liquid out the tuna. Next, grab a bowl of water. Squeeze in one of your lemon cheeks. We're getting ready to put our diced apples in here so they won't turn brown. Grab your apple and slice off one of the sides. Rotate and continue to slice off all four sides. Now we slice each of our apple planks in half horizontally. Next, we stack our planks and cut them into strips or batonet. Use your index finger to keep the strips in place. Turn your strips sideways and dice across them, keeping the dice small and consistent. Place the apples into the lemon water as you dice them. This recipe only needs half of our apples, so eat the other half. Next, let's grab our fresh mint and pick off all the leaves from the stems. We only need one to two tablespoons of chopped mint, so one large stem should be plenty. Take your picked leaves and stack them on top of each other in a small pile. Once your pile is several leaves thick, Take that pile and roll it into a cylinder. Take your knife to that cylinder and thinly slice through it, cutting the mint into thin strips. This is called a chiffonade in traditional French cuisine. Mmm, I love fresh mint. Now that our ingredients are ready, let's build our tuna salad mixture. We're gonna start by grabbing our tuna, or chicken, I'm not sure. Someone ask Jessica. We're gonna add our, we're gonna add our tuna in. Then we're gonna actually add our apples. Now, we wanna build flavor here. Like the flavor profile that I'm going off for this salad is I wanna balance the, the tartness, I wanna balance the salty and the creaminess from the cupai mayo that we're gonna add to this. So next I'm gonna go ahead and throw, this is our sweetness. We're gonna throw in our cranberries, our mint. Throw that in there. Our, our cupai mayo, just a little bit. Now, we can start off by just adding a little bit, you know, and then once you mix it in, then you can kind of like taste it and, you know, add if it needs a little bit more, but it looks like we actually have a good little mix in here. So now we can go ahead and add a little salt, add a little black pepper, Do a little mix, and then we taste. Let's go ahead. Let's get a little cranberry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's right there. So now I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of squeezed lemon cheek. Next, the assemble time. As I tasted it, I added a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, because it, it, it needed it. This actually tastes better the next day. So once you make it today, the longer, it's one of those things, the longer that it sits, it, it you know, it all the flavors are able to kind of like, uh, gel down together, and it just tastes better, the next, usually the next day. But since we're serving it today, I'll show you how to assemble it. You wanna grab your freshly toasted bread, and you wanna just add it on like that. And you wanna actually, don't be scared of it. You know, you want to actually put it from corner to corner, get it all up in there. Like so. Oh, this looks really good, guys. I hope you can see. On this other side, put this on it. Maybe you want to get the other bread down like so. Cut it right down the middle, like so. And there you have it, lunch, guys. A beautiful bright tuna sandwich. Today we have our friend, our longtime friend, fellow chef, uh, Miss Judy Woods, and she's gonna be sampling our, our tuna sandwich here. Now you don't have, this tuna recipe can be used for crackers, it can be used for a wrap or on top of salad, but just for today's purposes, we, we put in a, a sandwich. Okay, Miss Judy. I'll take the top one. Cheers, go ahead, get a nice little bite. Um, oh, you want me to go with you? Okay, cool. Mmm. Mmm. 
What's this stuff? Actually, the bread. That's really good. Mm -hmm. This is butter bread. No, I chose the butter bread for its, uh, just for the fluff, the rise of it, just the, the texture that it gives. And with that butteriness, the apple, the mint, and then the, the, the cute pie. Yes. And also, brioche would be. Oh, yeah. No, that's good. Mm -hmm. If you like this recipe, follow us on YouTube. Like, subscribe. Until next time. <laughs> yeah, but that's freaking good. <laughs> On to the next one. <laughs>